You're recording? Can you see a little red button? Top right hand corner. Or left? No. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah. <laughs> you should leave that in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> Something good. Mrs. Pac Man. Woo! Not Ms. Pac Man. Oh, sorry, Ms. Sorry, ladies. Women's right men. <laughs> don't, no, don't say anything about that. Because if you do, we're going to get all these women going, that's sexist. And I'm like, no, I don't want to be claimed. Hey, hey, I, I support it. It's all good. good. Well, the reason why we don't have women on the show is not by choice, it's just by. Oh, it is by choice. It's by their choice. No, don't say that either. <laughs> That's right. my god, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You know, his interest being close to mine in games and that sort of thing. Um, and he, he says that Pac Man is survival horror. <laughs> and I, th I thought he was an idiot at first when he said that. Um, no offense to, you, to him if he's listening um, or watching. But the more I thought about it, 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 it sort of is. Yeah. Because it's scary when those ghosts like come towards you. And you get those four power pellets to fight them, and they come in like you have to manage your resources mm. and go. Okay, I have to grab it now. I have to do it. Blah blah blah. Damn it. So it's not wrong, but no, no. it's just an interesting way of looking at it. I feel. It's also a um, crazed drug addict. That's yeah. Yeah. I've heard that one too. <laughs> Getting away from the cops. Oh man, so I, I, I know the, the Atari version of Pac-Man was pretty notorious for being uh, kind of shit. Yeah. Hence, I think this is why Ms. Pac-Man exists. Yeah. It's funny because I always see like Ms. Pac-Man being better than Pac-Man. Hmm. Like you, you see all the high scores and that sort of thing and it's like, oh, Pac-Man. But it's like Ms. Pac-Man instead. Oh, that's good. Yeah. She does have that bow on her head. That's the only difference, isn't it? Alright, she's got a little bit of lipstick. Yeah. So is that, um... The denunciation of the different sexes in the Pac-Man world? Pretty much. I guess with the limitations they might have had back then. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Didn't even let me finish. So, I think, um... I mentioned it in an earlier episode, but you guys know that Pac-Man used to be known as Puck-Man, didn't you? Yep. Yep. Um, if you've seen Scott, I think we, I think I even said after you said that, if you've seen Scott Pilgrim, you know that story. Yeah. But if you haven't, it's because it was like the Japanese thing for Paku Paku, mm -hmm. which is to flap one's mouth, which is what Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man do. Mm. But then obviously they had to change it because kids got wise and were like, oh, we'll just scratch out part of the P and it'll say fuck me and her. <laughs> In exactly that voice. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Give me that cheek. Who's... So, um... I guess, you know, the, the Atari pulling power to sell consoles at home was, you know, having a game that was representative of the arcades, uh, and, like, this is 
Like, it's a pretty true port to the arcade. Yeah. I mean, in, in gameplay-wise. Yeah. Oh, it's exactly the same game, it's just a bit bad. Yeah, like... Like, there's a noticeable difference in quality. But it's still quite fun. It's not as yeah. bad as I've heard, but... Hey, you finished the first level. Hmm. That, that's probably almost the end of the four minutes. Probably. But, yeah. um... You've got to think this game's 31 years old this year, so... That's true. Yes. Alright, that's... Fuck. Well, that was good timing, because now yeah. yeah, we're done. Awesome. Uh, by Inky or Pinky or... Inky, Pinky, Clyde and... What's the other one? Blinky, I think. That was Pac-Man. That was a good pick. Ms. <laughs> Ms. Pac-Man. Ms. Pac-Man. Sorry. <laughs> but that was nowhere near as bad as I'd heard. I always heard the Atari version was just like horrible. Yeah, that was all right. Yeah. No, I don't think you can go wrong with Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. Except for maybe the newer 3D sort of version. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever remember them, but yeah, I remember one of them. Yeah, it was a Pac-Man cartoon as well, like a 3D one. Really? Yeah. Oh god. But yeah, <laughs> that's that's uh, what they do. Just milk the crap out of franchises. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Alright, let's move on to the next. Fill in the Warrens. Yeah. yeah. Mega Man Warren Force. <laughs> Pitfall the Warren Adventure. So we're replacing yeah, Warren it's with the word. Warren. It's, it's perfect, makes perfect sense. So the now. first one was Mega Man. War and Force. Yeah, that's yeah. a game. Yeah. What was two? Pitfall, the War and Adventure. It would have sold so much better if it was a War and Adventure. Guitar but... Hero 3, War and of Rock. That one I know. Legacy of War and Soul Reaver. Halo, Warren Evolved. Captain Warren, the Game Master. And last, Super Puzzle Warren 2 Turbo. Okay. Uh, Star, Mega Man Star Force. Hey, I got that, I thought that was wrong. Yeah. What was that? Mega Man Star Force. Oh, Star. Was there a Dragon Force one as well? Dragon? No. There was a game called Dragon Force, but it's not a Mega Man game. Okay. Mayan. Pitfall the Mayan Adventure. I have that game. I like that game. Legends. Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. Cool. Mm. Kane. Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Mm. Combat. Halo. Combat Evolved. N. Captain N the Game Master. And Fighter. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Well, it's not Captain Commander? No, it's Captain N. <laughs> it's TV series. Uh, Zoid, it's not Captain Zoidberg? Captain Zo that, that That's actually pretty good, but you've really got too many points. It's, no, it's, it's not yours. Oh, yeah, good, good. Yeah, I'll give, I'll give you 20 for that. For what? Futurama. <laughs> 20? It's Futurama. I'll give him 20 for that. Okay, cool. so Brendan got 60. Or got 30. 50 for Ben. So, Brendan, um, what are we playing this week? Metal Gear! Solid. <laughs> there we go. That was the budget for the week. Won't <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it? So, truth be told, I haven't played Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation. I've only played Twin Snakes, which yeah. was the enhanced remake. But I played Metal Gear Solid, at least. It's alright. There's, there's, plot, there's plot failures. So game again, game again, pop failures. Was Metal Gear the first one on more than the PlayStation? Um, well, it goes Metal Gear, which was on like the MSX2 or something in Japan, which yeah. is like another console, and, and then the NES. Yeah. Then there was Metal Gear 2, and then it was Metal Gear Solid, which mm -hmm. was on PlayStation. Yep. And then years and years later, they did a like an enhanced remake, oh, okay, using yep. stuff from Metal Gear Solid 2 and stuff um, for the GameCube. Mm. And then yep. there's Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance, Metal Gear Solid 3, Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence, 
Boat camp? No, no, no. no. Yeah. We'll, just get, we'll just get the cutscenes. Yeah, I have no idea That's where normal. my memory card would be for this. Mm. Yeah, just... Yes. Do you want to continue your game like this? Yes. Um, and then Metal Gear Solid 4... Metal Gear, and then they had all the spin-offs and stuff. Whoa, yep. this is just so different from like the GameCube one. Mm. Yeah, I'll skip the cutscenes. Because otherwise we'll be here and then like by the time this cutscene's done. Skip it? Yes. Awesome. Alright, so quick overview of Snake and Metal Gear. Um, your, you work for it's you and you work there? for Foxhound on Fox this Sound. one. Okay. Oh, wait, I gotta call under that yeah. right. So yeah, you work for Foxhound, and um, the, the, the plot's so confusing. I tried to explain it to um, Heather once. Yeah. Because I was like playing Metal Gear Solid Four, she's like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Nor does anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> like, I always find it funny when people are like, oh, the uh, the plot's really confusing. Like, I don't get it. Like, how can people like this? Well, um, and like, none of the plots in Metal Gear make sense. Mm. Like, don't complain about it. Wait, I got a call? Oh, come on, I don't care, Colonel Campbell. I gotta call it, that's right. Fuck. How do I call it? Mm hmm. <laughs> like, I can't see you because oh, I'm on shit. the other side of the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do CQC. I'm going to die, like, straight away. Fuck off! <laughs> now, I'm, um, you know, there's some type of games that, you know, you just don't blend with. Yep. Yeah. Um, sneak around or, you know, the yeah, your stealth games. I just can't do. I don't know why. I've just never really gelled with them before and I, I really struggle with them. So I'm not going to be very good at this, but... I'm the same. I always struggle with this game. I, I need to press the thing. Is it in there that you have to press it? No, 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 because I can't even go in there. Oh, oh man. Alright, like, rate, and subscribe if you know how to press the thing. <laughs> oh man, this is embarrassing. Oh, we should pause it and find the instructions. <laughs> Health warning. <laughs> no, we don't want that. I don't want to be told that what I'm doing right now is bad for me. I'll make you go blind. Progressively, the episodes have gone on. I wasn't wearing glasses in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, we just have to wait. Oh, okay. Do I regain health from lying down? I can't remember in this one. Mm. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yoji Shinkawa oh, yeah, does like all the art yeah. and stuff for all the Metal Gear games, and it's all like super amazing. Mm. Ration, there we go. Yeah. So, okay, is this everyone's first like Metal Gear Solid game or the Metal Gear game? No, I played the um, Nintendo game. Okay. And I hadn't played this game. Um, I played the second game and I'm like, oh, I remember there was a Metal Gear game. And then looking it up and then found the PlayStation game yeah. and played it. Like, so I played it all out of order. Yeah. Which probably doesn't help any online going storyline <laughs> no. or anything, but... Yep. Yeah. What about you? This, yeah, this was the first one for me. I didn't even realise there was earlier ones in this. I sort of thought this was the first. Mm. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was sort of play a PlayStation game only. Yeah. My first experience was Metal Gear Solid 2. Mm. And not even on the PlayStation, it was on the Xbox. Yep. With um, Substance. Now, is that the one where the original is unlockable on it? Or? No, no, no. 
Oh, what, well, Metal Gear Solid, you mean Metal Gear Solid Substance, it has Metal Gear Solid 2, then it has all these VR, VR missions and stuff, yeah. extra. Um, but that's the only difference. So that's, yeah, I'm sure there was a game that one of them had the, the original game. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence okay. has all the stuff on it. And it's, that's, that's really cool because when they released that thing, they put all the cutscenes together yeah. with some gameplay and stuff, so it would be like an actual movie. Oh, that's cool. But I remember, yeah, Metal Gear Solid 2 was just crazy. Like, it, the, we, like we were just talking about a minute ago, the plots make no sense, but, like, that made no sense whatsoever mm. to me. Because mm. it's like, you start off and it's like, um, yeah, you, you start off a snake for the first, like, hour or two, yep. and then you're riding. Yeah. And they're all like, at the beginning, they're like, your codename's Snake, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, but... I'm not Snake, I'm... Where's Snake? And then he comes back later on, and it's like, no. Oh, I didn't even get to be Snake. That was the one I, I sort of remember something about. Everyone sort of kicked up this thing. Yeah. Like, how could you have Metal Gear Solid without Snake? Yeah. And, which is probably true. Yeah. Um, I remember them uh, bringing out all, like, the trailers and stuff. Mm. And all the trailers, even the parts where you would play Raiden later on, were um, Snake. Oh. So he would trick people. Yeah. Like Hideo Kojima, the guy who makes all the games, he just like, he likes fucking with his audience. Yeah. And everyone hated Raiden. Mm. But like, I don't mind Raiden at all. Okay, I'm gonna eat this ration. Yeah, it's probably a good thing to, you know, sort of, at different characters and story otherwise. Yeah. yeah. You know, people get pretty sick of it. So I always liked as well, um, you would, you know, like all the little things in the Metal Gear games. Yeah. Like the footprints. That's right, yeah. And that was a really big thing. I remember reading with the PlayStation magazine that was released. So I had Sega Saturn um, and I traded it in for a PlayStation, but I was buying PlayStation magazines at the time because I thought, oh, you know, I'll use the demo discs at some point and... Like, they were good because I'd learned um, a lot about, you know, PlayStation and stuff. And they spoke about the footprints being around yeah. and being remembered. Yeah, because they did a similar thing in, um... Fuck off. Ah, uh, they did a similar thing. No! Duck! Go, Snake, go! Crawl! <laughs> Um, yeah, just all little things, that's the thing. But yeah, you would, like, they had the footprints in this, and then the next one, if you would go in the water and come out, and there would be the footprints, it'd be the same deal. Yep. But, um, yeah, just the small things. I think you're going back out that way. Okay. Yep. Oh, God. Um, like, the Metal Gear Solid 3 did a lot of that sort of stuff. Um, what's some of the best ones in that? Like, there's one boss at the end, who's like an old sniper dude, who's like a hundred. Mm. And his boss fight takes a like, place in this big open part of the jungle. There's like three areas to it, so if you find him and like, shoot him or whatever, yep. he'll run off somewhere else. And, um, I remember the first time I did that boss battle, it took me two hours to beat. Um, uh, and then, you could do this thing where you would save the game leave it for a week or just turn the internal clock over for a week, yep. come back to it, and he would be dead because he was waiting so long for you. <laughs> and everyone would go, where were you? Like, we lost contact with you for ages. You know, you didn't call up or anything, and then he was dead. And you could just keep going. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. Or you'd blow up buildings that had food rations and stuff in it. Yep. And you could hear guards' stomachs rumbling and them complaining about how hungry they are. <laughs> That's awesome. Yep. It's just all these tiny little things. Yeah, that's, I think that's one of my favourite parts about games, those little things, because that's where a lot of my gameplay time comes from. Just, yeah. you know, you sit back and watch. And, mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, a lot of people would probably just get into it and not even notice. Yeah. But this was pretty groundbreaking. I remember the first, like, I had a 64, I didn't have a PlayStation, but I remember everyone talking about this. 
because it had all cinematics and stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was just so different from what everyone else was making. But what's what's your favourite Metal Gear Z? The one you guys have played. I don't know if you've played all of them or you know one of them or. Um, for me, it's hard because I, I really like the original for what it was, but I have to go probably yeah. It doesn't really fit with the the later ones, so maybe two. Yeah. Is my fondest memories of playing. Yeah. My mine would be three. I'd say. Mm. But everyone's just memories. Um. It was just so different, and it added so much stuff to make the stealth stuff work better. Yeah. Like, the whole camouflage thing. You could go into an area, and, like, there'd be camouflage. And you'd have to change what you're wearing so you could blend in and be stealthier. Yeah. That was really cool. What the fuck? What is it? Is it a ration, or is it a... Yeah, ration. Cool. Can we go down that way? Yeah, it's like press the action. That's why he called me. Press the action button, which is like what circle sign is. Yeah, I think so. Dun, dun, dun. I love PlayStation One graphics. Yeah. <laughs> So do you have a gun yet? No, I don't think you get one when you start off on normal. You have to pick it up. Cool, so you can jam the camera with that. Okay. So or you can just wait. That's that flashing. Yeah. Uh, well, the flashing means that it's on like alert, but the cam all the cameras are on alert. Oh, okay. But obviously you got the current of vision. So... Right now, if you walked up to it, it would see you. Yep, so right now. Yep, so you like run under it. And then just wait, obviously. But it was cool as well, like, the, the weird characters that were in this. Mm. Like, you had Sniper Wolf and that sort of thing. Um, Vulcan Raven. <laughs> Who else was in it? Psycho Mantis. Those were the three... What? Because there was another one as well. Decoy Octopus, that's right. Um, and you never fought that person because obviously we'll plot twist a bit later on. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's the elevator you got to take. I think the cat is only in your box. A snake's box! <laughs> <laughs> Freak out. Oh, you got the pistol! Alright, so. Two. Uh, R2. Oh shit. That's it. Hold down square to shoot. So you can shoot out the cameras as well. Oh, okay. So it's like. Square, I think, yeah. But you gotta like aim it. Yeah. Oh shit! Whoa! Alright, you got him. But I think this is pretty cool in the fact that you didn't have to, um... You didn't have to take out enemies, like, with the... like, shoot them. Mm. You could just stealth your way the whole through. Whole way through. I love that. And then... Snake! <laughs> But yeah, um, as I've been telling you guys pretty much since, uh, since I got here, I've been playing through the Metal Gear games. Mm. So I've been playing Re uh, Revengeance and uh, 4. Mm -hmm. um, and 4 is pretty cool because it's like, obviously the last one in like the, the Solid series at the moment. Yeah. Uh, where you play as Solid Snake. Mm. Uh, he's the old man with the moustache and that sort of thing. And it's like all these things that, that like get mentioned in games are getting tied up yeah. like the, the sort of penultimate conclusion to everything and it's really cool 
but it's a long game. Mm. See, I find that with game time, it's it's not something I, I now measure whether it be a good game or not. Yeah, it's well, becoming it's, less and yeah. less of something because I don't mind playing a good game if it lasts me ten hours. But then again, I'm not buying them at launch for yeah you know ninety bucks. I guess I would be annoyed if I I was doing that. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Some of the best games I've ever played are like, you know, a couple of hours long. Like mm. Mad World, you could breeze through that and, and finish that's, it in three hours. Yeah. Um, but I love that game. And I I don't think, like, it's a good judgment, um, like you know, say spending a hundred bucks, and it, you you're done in like yeah two three hours or whatever. You wanna get yeah. going or? I'm oh, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just I just like games now. If I get a lot of fun of them, I spend a hundred yeah. bucks and it's fun for five hours or whatever, and I really enjoy it. Yeah. Then that's enough for me. God damn it, Carl. Yeah, I don't mind if um, you know, the game's not too long as well. But what I find is if if you buy a game and then you play it through and then that's it. Mm. It sort of sits in there and you don't want, ever want to touch it again. They're the yep. sort of games that I don't want. As long as they've got a bit of, you know, re-life in them. Yeah. So I find really hard with um, some of the, the really long um, JRPGs and, well, you know, Final Fantasy series that you're like, oh yeah, that was great. And I put in, you know, 90, 100 hours into it. Yep. You leave your save game there what's the chance of you actually picking up that game again and ever playing it? I've tried. Yeah. It's very hard, hey. Like, even after a couple of months that, yeah. you know, you, you put that save back in, you're like, what the hell was I doing here? You forget how to use your combos, which characters had yeah. what, and... Yeah. Yeah, I do that all the time. Usually, if I've clocked a game now, I'll just... If I want to play it again, I'll just delete it. Mm. Start again. If I forget how to play it, then it's kind of, you know, yeah. learn it again, but... Obviously, to say I haven't played too many Final Fantasies. For me, it was Final Fantasy VII. Shit. I don't know. If, even though I love that game, yeah, I don't know if I could go back and put that time into it. It's not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna go back. Okay. We're still holding it. That cat must be tearing up that box. Yeah. See, because this is wildly different to when I played um, Twin Snakes because it puts all the Metal Gear Solid 2 stuff in. Mm. So, like, you can shoot in first person and you can hang off ledges and... Yeah, it makes it a lot easier, eh? It's just like, yeah, it, it really does. Where's this elevator? I think it's... That was a lot of the difficulty with playing some of the Resident Evil games. It's like the control scheme was not so easy to shoot and attack. Yep. So, you know, you, you knew that, okay, it's going to take me that extra millisecond to actually get my gun out and load it. So, therefore, it might, might be easier just for me to run away from, you know, whoever's attacking you. Yeah. Oh, fuck, that guy's coming back. But it's cool, like... I always really appreciated what the Metal Gear series did because it put stealth like at the forefront. Yes. When everyone else at this point in time were like, let's just make everything like, you know, shoot shooting yeah, games. Running and guns yeah. blazing. No, I wanna fucking press the button. No. Shit, that's right. Because the Japanese are all like can't use <coughs> X because that's bad. <laughs> you have to use circle. Yeah, because that's more um, so go. positive. Was it this one, though? No. Oh, it's just B1 and B2. I thought it said 131, 132. Oh, embarrassing. Mm. <coughs> no, fuck off. No, this is Naomi. No, Maylene. At least this one doesn't fuck around with your time. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, sorry. Good day, Dad. Good day. I am error. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Give me something popping outside. Have you seen the HD collection for Metal Gear Solid? Two and three? Physically, yes, but not. Uh, I almost bought it the other week. Yeah. I just want to play Metal Gear Solid 2 again. Yeah. I'll probably finish Metal Gear Solid 4 and then buy it. Speaking of HD, I saw a um. Hey! hey. <laughs> I like that. Is that a woman? I think. <laughs> what? Yeah, speaking of um, HD stuff, I saw that they are going to remake um, Age of Vampires 2 yep. in HD. That will be amazing. Yeah, there's a trick. I know you can see Marilyn her underpants. <laughs> <coughs> I can't remember what the trick is. I think you have to see it go ahead and then come back. No. Damn it. That must be it. So this is another one of those long cutscenes where it's like how do you know about Metal Gear? And it's like, it's the fucking name of the game. <laughs> but yeah, it's a pretty groundbreaking game, I mean, like, even mm. still now. Fuck sound. Yep. Has anyone seen Metal Gear Awesome? No. It's like a flash cartoon. Yeah. And it just makes fun of the whole Metal Gear <coughs> series. Yeah. But like even still it seems like a lot of respect to it as well. It just pointing out the stupid parts of it. That would have been for ages. Mm. So if you haven't played it, uh the chief just had a heart attack sort of thing. Yep. That's why they're going Yeah, that's why he's on the ground. <laughs> Um, I think you have to knock on the door. <laughs> and then I think you pre if you press the action button while you're leaning up against the door. Or if you look through the viewfinder or something, I don't know. I can't remember, I haven't played these in ages. <coughs> I've just, oh, just seen his head. <clears throat> That's right, Meryl breaks out. <laughs> oh, what? I like this scene. So Snake is like this, the, like super soldier sort of thing. He's a clone of the character you play in Metal Gear Solid Three. It's so fucking confusing, but I know so much about the story. Yeah. Like you have to remember all these like little in inconsequential details and that sort of thing. Shoot. The GameCube remake as well, they like redo all the cutscenes, but they got some like Japanese. They got a Japanese um, director to direct all like the cutscenes and yeah. stuff. So there's more cinematic quality to it all. Mm. 
Um, like there's one part where you, you find a guy later on who's like a, a ninja and you have like this drawn out like battle with him that goes for like a minute and a half where like he cuts part of the roof off and while it's falling does a backflip and kicks it at you and Snake like leaps over it lands and then they both like mm. are about to kill each other and then that's like the only cutscene yeah, it's, it's crazy Metal Gear is a crazy game <laughs> Let me out! <clears throat> Johnny Sasaki is the little naked dude. See, like, all this pointless Metal Gear knowledge that I know. <laughs> Johnny has, like, a compulsive sort of thing where he, like, shits all the time. Like, yeah. he has diarrhea. And he's like a teammate in Metal Gear Solid 4. And then he like is nervous all the time and he's like, oh god. And he has to run off because he's like, like about to shit himself. Mm. And enemies run past him like in this like gun battle after he shit himself. Like, oh my god, he stinks. <laughs> Alright, let's see. You are a rookie. Man, Snake's voice in this is so less gruff than it gets later on. Yeah. No, I don't want no one. I want to reload. I'm going to have no gun in a second. Damn it. <laughs> that? I'm not timing you. <laughs> what? Okay. I only time no. you on the four minute one. <laughs> Just go one more time. Alright. There you go again. Okay. So it's good. You've gone further than both of us can buy. Hurry up! <laughs> Let me out of here! Who's there? Let me out. <laughs> I like how he's just still naked in the background. <laughs> cool. I'm the best. Oh my god! Uh -huh. <laughs> what? Oh man, this is embarrassing. Let's stop before we do it anymore. Yeah, well, that might be a good place to end it. Yep, I did that. Awesome. Cool. Well, that was fun because I never played the original mm. Metal Gear Solid. I only played the remakes. That was interesting. Yeah. Seeing yeah. that. Oh, I was tripping like memory lane. For yeah. 
like yeah, even the control method and everything, I, I <coughs> couldn't remember doing it. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Man. What do you think? It's good. This yeah. is one that I remember the most, obviously, because mm. it was pretty big with PlayStation. I remember it being big when it came out. Yeah. yeah. It was the game to have. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Cool. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the, game, the show again. Yeah. And the game. So, join us again next week. See ya. See you later. Alright, Dreamcast. Um, I think it was above its time, um, but it's also for the little VMU. Um, so a little memory unit that fits into the controller and the screen, and it started that concept of dual screen and you know showing different things. It wasn't actually used much to its potential um, in its life, but I think it, it you know started off something uh, really really amazing. Also, you could get that VMU and put it with your friends' VMUs and play games against each other and mm. take your Chao on the train and level up your Chao and stuff. So, yeah, I, I really, and it really fits well in your hand and everything. So yeah. I think that it was just the, the pinnacle of the Sega controllers. And cool. Yeah. What was the last one, so? Well, <laughs> yeah, thanks for reminding us. <laughs> um, for me, I'd probably say it's 64 controller. Um, it's sort of, I didn't really like the feel of it in your hands, but I liked how the trigger was underneath and it had the joystick in the middle mm. it was kind of if you played shooting games you could sort of just go like that mm. you know it was yeah i liked it mm. it was i think it was just because it was different too because if, if it wasn't 64 i'd probably say xbox yeah because yeah. that's sort of the, when you held that it's <laughs> felt right the big xbox one that you need like you know no, no. big hands to do it or the, the xbox s actually probably um no it was first xbox but um had a Spider-Man control. That was uh, my favorite. That one. Yeah. yeah. Um, that one. Uh, mine would be the <coughs> GameCube controller, um, particularly the WaveBird mm. one, because that was like the first like sort of proper um, wireless controller that was like made by the company, yeah. rather mm. than like you know a generic um, sort of. Yeah. Thing. yeah. And it was super comfortable. Like I've never had another controller that fits so perfectly, mm. and everything seems perfectly placed. Um, yeah, so that that would be mine. Yeah. A lot of fun memories with that. So, yeah. yeah, I like the button placement with the um the, the controller as well because yeah. you know it, it seems really easy to get to everything. Yeah. Mm. It was a good transition, I think, from, from the previous. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Yeah. Everyone you ready? Yeah. Nope. 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 No. Nope. Nope. Come no. on, you ready? We're ready. Okay. Is he ready? <laughs> now I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm alright. Okay, everybody's ready. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Right. Warwick, Good. you ready? Warwick's not ready. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say everybody's ready. Okay. <laughs> Metal Gear. Solid.